Dears be Trizit. Hello everyone, Phil here. Welcome to another edition of DSP Tries It. And this one's going to be a, pretty much a lot different than the ones I usually do. As you guys know, typically I'm hitting up the fast food joints, the fried foods, right? The, uh, the burgers, the greasy stuff, pizza. This time around, this is a new offering from Arby's. Now, Arby's typically is known for roast beef, for chicken. Every once in a while, maybe you'll get, say, a steak sandwich. Maybe you'll get... Uh, a Reuben, which is one of their big sandwiches that they launched a couple years ago. They had a big ad campaign on TV about it. The Reuben, which is corned beef, uh, uh, what is it, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, Thousand Island dressing on a toasted, you know, style sandwich. And then uh, I was, uh, we were driving by there the other day and they said, well, there's an alternative to that. It's called the Rachel. It's supposed to be turkey, a turkey-based version of the Reuben. But instead of having sauerkraut, it actually has some kind of a homemade coleslaw. I believe it also has the Thousand Island or some other kind of dressing. As well as, uh, I believe it's supposed to have some kind of cheese. I don't know. And so, uh, you know, here we are. We tried it. I said, I'm going to try it. I want to see what it is. It is about, it's about $5.29. As you can see, it's pretty big. Just to show you my hand. It's bigger than a typical burger in that regard. Because it is kind of a larger wheat style bread. Uh, and to show you what is on it. Because actually, you know what I should do? Show them the picture. Here's what, this is what I'm, I want to This is what the picture looks like. Here's an advertisement that was sent to us in the mail, right? Here's what the actual sandwich looks like. Okay, ready? We're going to split it. Well, if they had actually cut the bottom, this would have been a lot easier to do with one hand. There we go. That's what it actually looks like. Turkey, big layer of turkey. Right? Looks like you got some kind of the Thousand Island dressing on the bottom. There's the slaw on top. I don't particularly see any cheese, so maybe this one does not have cheese. I'm not sure. Let me actually open it up here to show you. Oh, in the picture it shows cheese. So maybe somewhere in there there's cheese. I can't really tell. In fact, no, I see it. You see it right there? There's the Swiss. It's mixed in there with the Thousand Island, so it really does. I'll be honest. Visually appealing? No. It does not look visually appealing. It looks a little messy. Here, it looks better when you look at it from the side. When you just look at the top, it doesn't look very good. Now, traditionally, coleslaw has, you know, vinegar and other stuff in it. I wonder if they did that or if it's just a custom mix so that it will go with the sandwich. I don't know, but we're going to try it. I'm going to see for a fast food offering. Is it is it as good as the, a Reuben? Is it better or worse than a Reuben? I would think that they're selling this as a healthier alternative because a Reuben, that's all over my hand, typically is made of either corned beef or pastrami, both of which are pretty fatty meats. So I'm, I'm assuming they're thinking this is a more uh, health conscious version, although with the amount of sauce we just saw on that, I don't know about that. All right. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It's pretty interesting. It's a sweeter sandwich. You got saltiness from the turkey, but sweetness from the actual coleslaw. Um, and a little bit of a tangy kick from the Thousand Island. The toastedness of the bread is interesting too, versus other fast food things. You usually don't get like a toasted bread like that. So it actually tastes a lot different than something else that you maybe get at a fast food joint. I'm taking another bite here. Hmm. The one thing that isn't coming through is the cheese. I feel that because there's so many flavors in there already, you can't really taste the Swiss at all. But as you can see, it's actually not, I thought it was gonna be messy. It's not messy. Look, it's not dripping. I thought it would be dripping. They must they put the right amount on there. Um, it's pretty good. I actually like it. I think the flavor is dead on for something different. It's not super salty. You know, you eat the Reuben, you're like, oh, too much of a salty, fatty meat. Is it really healthier? I don't know. I'm not going to make the judge of that. You have a scientist test the calories or whatever in it, but it tastes pretty good and it's a good alternative. The two, one thing that I have to say, number one, $5.29 for a sandwich like this, like I would go into a deli, a professional deli and pay $5 for a big ass loaded meat sandwich, I wouldn't expect $5 and just to get a smaller sandwich like this. That is kind of disappointing. Um, but it's tasty. 
So I'm actually gonna give this a four out of five. I think that for the flavors, it's good. The pricing, a little hefty. If this were less, if this were like say four dollars, I'd probably give it a really, really high score. But over five dollars for just a turkey sandwich with some coleslaw, I don't know. I like it though. So four out of five for the Rachel sandwich, now at Arby's, the alternative to the Reuben, if you're interested in turkey and coleslaw instead of the more fatty stuff. So that's it for DSP Tries It. I'll see you guys next time.